math. With Poe and Monroe. So Gabby said that she's grocery shopping and when she... What can we do? Haven't we done enough? Not many people get to know when they're going to die, let alone get the chance to avoid it. We've given Ellis a huge advantage. So what should we do? Should we... Maybe. Maybe Sam's her lucky charm. Anything short of an apocalypse would be considered a victory at this point. The issue. Very good. That's sort of something you could say about most dreams. That... Anyway, it might have helped. What are you doing now? I don't know. I don't want to lie about my alibi again, though. What should I do? Good idea. I'll stay in my room, log in, and wait for you to give me the all clear. Then they'll know I'm not a suspect. You're the best. <laughs> You're, why you're having dreams about here, so it's your grocery shopping. So that in particular is a physical need for life. So what we're also dealing with here is the loss of money. Self-identity. The impression that I get from this dream and... Perhaps, Gabby, you might always... A relationship, perhaps, where you feel that others see you as someone else's significant other rather than actually having your own identity as yourself. Now, for me personally, I believe that... I'm Poe, and this is your August update. August update. What do you think, Poe? That's some wonderful advice, Alice, and I think it's a lot of food. I'm sorry, can I help you? I've... It's not a very good time at the moment, I'm afraid. Really? Uh, anything I can help? No, not really. The calling. Red... I love you, she said. Then she cut off her face. A lot of effort with the butter knife, alternately plunging and trying to saw. As part of her head tipped forward and free. I expected to see a dripping cross section. John. I'm going to be fine. Empty. Into the hole. It is nothing more than a prison for your consciousness. Your wardens have long since forgotten you. When I used the knife, I'm Zach Weston, just sharpening my powers of persuasion. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. I'm Zach Weston. 
Just sharpening my powers of persuasion. Down Siren's Blair, but the cavalry's not coming. Jimmy's already dead. I am the cavalry. Dr. Thatcher's black BMW is strewn on its side. Ramp. At the labs on the and with my back against it, I may have time to take all eight shots before Emma reaches me. Zack. The game is up. I think you should leave town. Oh. I know where you were last night. I followed you to Dorota's house. Well, I didn't know it was Dorota's house until we arrived. I was at the studio. You... Don't change the subject. Sam and Dupont will put two and two together. And, and then they're going to arrest you. You weren't there long, I suppose, but then... I guess it doesn't take you long, does it? You're s I followed you there, then back to the studio. You lied to the police. You lied. Her shot goes wide, but it's enough to send her sprinting directly for me. The second shot clips her side. The ramp her hospital gown smothered in blood. The fourth hits a square in the chest. I So her approach to a stagger the eighth forces her to her knees, just a few feet down slope. And howls. Eyes locked, I put that ninth bullet. Hi, I'm Ellen. the sprinklers until Emma slowly rises dreams oh I'm so sorry I won't let you die Of course I'm okay. It's you who's shrouded in darkness, my love. El, we must finish what we started. No. Nope. What do you mean? Us. Our love. I don't care what happens to me. I'm going to leave. I know. But this time... No. No? Oh. Sorry. Sorry, it's me. I overindulged. Emotional. For forget what I said. Let's get through. I... Oh. Why? You didn't know? No. No, I didn't know. You know how to pull at my heart. That perhaps something is weighing heavily on your mind? Alice, do you have the amethyst? Oh. 
Poe's amethyst pendant. The one we have the bio for. Okay, we're playing silly buggers now. Don't worry about it. My bio would have found something by the time you pitch up with it anyway. To Poe's curiosity shop. Okay, Munro, here's the object for today. It's definitely made out of silver. Well done, it is made of silver. Looks like a whistle. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's part of it. Whistle. I'm not... Well, it's a silver rattle. In a sealed well at St. Augustine's, along with a bone. It was discovered just over a decade ago after a sudden sinkhole in the graveyard. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm Lexi. Shop. Okay, so please explain to the listeners what the object is that you. It is very, very. Correct. It's guarding. Mm, there could be animals. Uh, there's uh, four figures. Cross, maybe. What was the what was the object used for? Would you think? Only use I can see is maybe to hang a hang something on, like a coat or. A... Do you think you're a? Not that I know of. Chief Dupont asks me for favors, so I think I'd know. Did. But something about him has certainly changed. Takes that amount of care nowadays. But this particular mangle was used to crush... It's going to be soon. Whatever happens to Alice, it will be soon. How do you know it's... I can sense it. Are you not? No. Masculine mainly, but I don't recommend you try it. Yes. <sighs> At uni, I read a book by Aldous Huxley called The Doors of Perception. He takes mescaline and basically trips his balls off. And the party girl I used to be thought, yay. into one person and suddenly there's only one outline. The shelves. So it's almost someone, someone doesn't... So... Aliens. Violet. What are we thinking, Lex? Violet and aliens? Ray, why'd you pray for them? Well, because right now, I can't think of anything else that would help. Maybe try and get answers from the tarot? The only tarot with real answers is Mercury. And Mercury asks the questions. Staring at it for the rest of the night, I'm out of ideas. 
Hasn't Bron told you? Violet said she was abducted by aliens. But not your usual stick me on a slab, call me grey type aliens. Aliens that decorate. Strange, isn't it? Why would an alien decorate? If it's a traveller, why is it strang- I have no idea. August is basically our hellmouth. Perhaps, Gabby, you might- Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain. I'm Rain. Okay. Thank you for your dreams. Dark night. Nightmares by Angela Atkins. Rain, what an unexpected pleasure. Maybe you could help me with something. No. Sure. When you were here yesterday... No. Well, keep your eyes peeled. The hum of the engine speakers were my only everything in my head. No one saw me. No one knew I even went for a drive. I could just run and God forgive me. Leave her there to be. Hey. Sam's asked if I can get anything else out of this. It's full of wit and repartee as per usual. The red glow of my brake lights illuminated the lump lying in the road behind me. It's getting closer, isn't it? What's getting closer? Do you think that- I doubt it. As far as I know, they're live on air a lot of the time and not sure he could have nipped out, murdered Dorota, and made it back for the news at 10. So it... <sighs> it could be anyone. It could be you, Ray. What's going The event. Whatever's going to happen to Ellis. I can feel it. In the ignition. I left my door open as I cautiously walked back. Why do you think the- I have absolutely no idea. I'm a redhead. I suppose I should feel left out. I was certain that it was a smell that would never let me sleep at night again. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. I took a deep breath and lowered myself to the ground. Miss? My... Retain the masculine depth. I'm actually a bit tied up at the moment. Well, in danger, actually. Why don't you like me? What? I like everyone. What makes you say that? 
You're trying. You told Sam. It's just, when I dropped the radio off at the guest house, you weren't very welcoming. I get suspicious. There's always strings, right? Did you feel guilty about not listening? It's okay. I'm not a doctor. So we can be friends now? Amazing. I've got a lot going on at the moment, which hopefully I'll get through. And if I do, I'll come and see you at the guest house sometime. Okay? Her hand squeezed mine just a little tighter as I began to pull her hair away from her face. Her breath was becoming much more sh The operator answered after the second ring. I followed. Are you insane? Why did you follow me, you stupid bitch? You killed Dorota. I absolutely did not. She texted me to come over. Then she asked me to watch her play with herself from a distance. She likes people to watch, didn't you know? It's probably best if we didn't see each other for a while. You know where the door is. She was gone. The blacktop rippled in front of me. It turned into waves that grew into a deeper and richer blue, like satin sheets. Hi, I'm... <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief DuPont. In my hand. Sir? Where were you driving? What road was the accident on? I... Chief DuPont. Grave news, indeed. Will Ellis be safe with you here? No. She wants me to... And murder Poe and Monroe. No, I don't want to dilute my brand. Then I will pencil you in, Chief. It will be an honor and a privilege. Go back to the As I opened the door. It had only been moments since I'd they made it out to my house that fast. And see their mouths moving. But Did you get a call from my doctor? Did you tell her I was being compliant? I said you were taking the pills. No, not anymore. I think... Well, you're normally more forceful about it, Claude. You said my UFO was real. So why am I taking pills? I didn't. Are you trying to make me go mad? Just an hour ago, you said there was a UFO sighting. Now it's, take the pills, Violet. You said you... Other girls, younger than me. Nobody I recognised. Do you think this place is nearby? Yes, they all had red hair. They were all very pretty. And they were all alive. 
in that moment. She could do it again, except before was different. Before. Are we, she said, as Penn reached for a slice of bread. The fridge. Then it had been easy to stay thin. Now, I haven't. Until a few hours ago, I never heard of the guy. Creepy as fudge, if you ask me. I'm... Anything for you, Chief? Hang on stolen sauce packets from the school canteen. It wasn't her fault. It was too. Yes, now I remember. It's the one in the hall. Sometimes cuts through the uh, unbearable silence in this place. Not really. I expected her to be blonde for some reason. No? Oh, him, yes, I've heard him on the radio. Never met him in real life, though. Are you mocking me, Sam? No, I have never met the man. He didn't. He was the one in her bedroom last night. I never made it that far, I just followed him to her house. I wrongly assumed we were in a relationship, and I thought that he was cheating on me. Which he was. I saw him leave Jero- I don't know if anyone else was there. Because I was protecting Zack. This looks bad, doesn't it? Welcome to Poe's Curiosity Shop. Okay, so please explain to the... I mean, it's very, very heavy. It's wooden and... Correct. Animals? Um, and some people might interpret them as animals. But there's... Cross, maybe? What was, the, what was the object used for, would you think? Only use I can see is maybe to hang a... hang something on? Like a coat, or a... You could, you could do that. Yes, uh, I'm surprised she told you about that. How did that come up? I see. There's a plethora of ways you could have protected your source, but instead you pretend you've been having breakfast with Alice. Maybe you should see a psychiatrist, Sam. I can recommend a good one. But I obviously can't vouch for that. It's not what it sounds like. Dorota lost her scholarship. She said it was an administrative error. She showed me the letter and everything.
No, I didn't. I told you he'd asked to take pictures of me. You never asked if we were selling a pendant together. The money was for her, Sam. So she could have her dream of being a cellist. I wanted her to have her dream. It doesn't matter now. Not exactly. I told him I was in trouble with credit cards, and he offered to bail me out. I asked if I could have one of his artifacts, and of course he gave it to me. I just want to make people happy. To put out into the world what I want back. Is that too much to ask? It hasn't made me happy yet, but... I couldn't do this without him. He looks out for me. He's my best friend. What do you know, Sam? It's true. A girl likes to keep her options open. What if someone new were to turn up in town? It's not an act. I have a sweet tooth. And I want to taste all the sweet things. Nation. He had assumed the location would be somewhere on Earth. Instead, he now found himself on the far side of the moon. Sam, I've got some heavy rain news. Lawrence Petrovsky, that's his real name. And no, he's not a Russian spy. But he does have a criminal record. He was charged with the murder of a 21-year-old artist. Looks like he got off on a technicality by all accounts. About three months ago in Hong Kong. Be careful, Sam. If you're going to ask him about this, it could be a flight risk. And you know, there's a good chance he could be the killer. Doors behind you. Yeah, Dr. Tanner. She's checking up on a violet. Why are you still giving her a hard time about this? She's had it tough enough already. Me to confirm. She's dealing with a lot of things. Just so go easy. The doctor said the aliens are delusions. A side effect of her previous alcoholism. She's been sober six months, and I don't want to change that, Sam. The, the neuropathy she suffered due to alcohol is causing her problems. The pills are to try to help with that, but guess they have side effects too. Memory loss. She's not a monster. Just a little girl lost. She was drinking to forget. She, she ran with a bad... Rain still a suspect, no corroborated alibi, Bronwyn Castle has one, Lexi Taylor doesn't. I've got my search back on Rain, or Petrovsky, as we should call him. He's got priors that you're looking into. Rain met Ellis when he was touting for work. He gets around quickly. You found another connection between Zack and Ellis, selling Poe's pendant in exchange for nude photos. Zack has a thing about this, doesn't he? Ellis knows Violet because of the free radio project. Ellis thinks Violet doesn't like her very much. 
I'm not sure I like you very much. Where's the proof? The crime scene last night with Zack. It's not looking good for Zack now. Oscar's in the clear. He was playing football last night. He said that Dorota had a wedding dress in her closet. Not many people would know that. I think you've narrowed it down to Zack, Rain and Lexi. That's just my... That's it. It's now 10 o'clock. Here's your August update. Investigations deepen into last night's murder of 21-year-old Dorota Shaw. Miss Shaw, a talented... ...placed a... It's gone crazy tonight. I've just got off the phone with someone who thinks they saw a UFO on one of the nights that Violet went missing. Aliens will be normal right now. Anyway, now you're here, it's time. What do you suggest we do with Ellis Monroe? Monroe's a local treasure around here, Sam. Don't let anything happen to her. Sam, I'm not sure. Do you think you can stop someone from trying to kill me? <sighs> That's all I needed to hear. Thanks for staying with me, Sam. I know it's dangerous. I don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you are. It's almost 10 o'clock. Are we just supposed to wait? That's kind of easy for you to say right now. I think I'm probably going to have a heart attack before anyone gets a chance to kill me. That's the door. That's the door, Sam. What what are, what are we going to do? God, I've been outside all the time, okay? Bromwyn Castle just called. She said the danger is over. They've done a new reading. It's 11 o'clock. I'm Poe and this is your...
Sam, I have some bad news. And it's you. I don't know, Sam, I, I don't know what to say. It's normally a death sentence, but with you... I think you've interfered too much. That's why you're the next target. He's asked that you meet with him. You should go, Sam. Be careful. Sam, it's almost midnight. You're still alive. This is a good thing. But no one's even attempted to kill you yet. You've given me a lot of evidence. You should be safe. If we don't, well, we've all got to sleep at some point. I can get someone to guard your room at the guest house, but it might not be enough. So, Sam, who should I arrest? During that whole thing with Alice, the only people I couldn't keep track of were Rain, Zack, and, and Violet. I don't want to believe it's Violet, but that's why you're here. You're impartial. Out of those three names, who was with Dorota at the time of her murder? Or who has an alibi that doesn't check out? This is on you, Sam. Just give me a name. Zack, I don't trust him either. He's definitely creepy. I'll go and pick him up myself. With all the information you've given me, I think it'll be enough. Maybe he'll confess too. That would help. Good luck, Sam. If you've picked the wrong person, you're still in danger. Sam, you asked for these earlier. Make sure you get some sleep now. You'll need it. I'm sorry, sorry, that was in bad taste. <laughs> um, Bronwyn asked me to check that you're okay, and... It's one o'clock in the morning, and this is Poe with your August update. We don't normally have them at this time.
happy head. I'm so glad to see you alive. There is no next victim. Zach is still locked up. He's being charged for murder. So they'll have jumped realities already. It's not something that a jury will believe. The shell they've left behind will remember what they've done. And spend a life in prison. All we can do is try and stop the next one. Sam, come with us, please. We could really use someone like you and, well, just, will you? Really? Oh, Sam, that's wonderful. Let's finish packing and we can leave this afternoon. Sam, thank you. We're going to change lives, believe me. Hey, sweet cheeks, you did good. Sam. You do? I'm the happiest girl in the world. Sam, you're safe. Thank Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I know. There's been a lot of death going around. I just wanted to say thank you. Chief De Palma's gonna screw everything, but you kept it all together. The right was stopped. But there's tens if not hundreds going on all the time, so, so we gotta keep going. I don't know if Bron asked in the end, but I hope you're coming with us. I really do. I didn't think you'd leave without saying goodbye. People do horrible things to people every day. I'm just glad there's someone like you around to save us. I mean, everyone needs a little saving from time to time. Even me. That's easy for you to say. Look what you've just been through. I'd have been dead a few hours ago if it wasn't for you. But you're right. I am strong. I will be fine. But... I like having you around, Sam. I hope you're staying. Sam, you did good. I thought you would. I mean, not that I've got a signed confession or anything. Yet. Apparently, they don't remember anything about the murders, but Bronwyn seems pretty convinced it's over. Well done. I hear you're leaving town with the tarot readers. That's a real big shame you were starting to fit in here. But good luck to you. You're doing what many of us have died trying. Leaving August. And I've stuck to my word. That problem you had, I buried it. The coroner's report is going to say the woman was dead when you arrived, not after. I don't personally believe in exorcism or anything like that, but over the last 24 hours, I'm starting to think things aren't as cut and dried as I'd like them to be. You're a good person, Sam. At least that's definitely how it looks from the outside. I am Dorota, I am 21 years old, um, I love playing cello and I've just been awarded a scholarship to Juilliard. 
I just love cello. I love all string instruments, but cello is rich and deep. Cello is my hobby, but my real passion is... <laughs> it's silly, it sounds silly. Well, I would like to build a time machine. <laughs> I know, I know. But it is possible. I think people make mistakes. Say things they don't mean. I want to go back in time. I want to make better choices. You know why you're here, don't you? Because you did well. And you know what happens when you do well? Augmentation. Congratulations, Agent 3.13. Welcome to... 3.14. Debriefing 3204, Birmingham. Transmit. And we're ready. Are you human? Do you have feelings? Then we'll need to work on that. Do plants have feelings? It hasn't worked. It's stuck in compliance mode. <laughs> 